So I was in the Cleveland airport several years ago and had my guitar on my back and had some time to kill. So I walked into this Barnes and Noble bookstore and the guy behind the counter, it was just the two of us in the store at that moment. And this big old guy, normally when people come in on my guitar, they say, hey, play me something. But he said, can I play you a song? And he got really excited. So I said, well, absolutely. And I pulled it out and he turned it upside down and played the guitar. So he just turned it upside down because he was left handed and started playing it and singing this soul music just at the top of his lungs. It was amazing. So much energy and, and passion in it. And he was just having such a good time just playing these chords upside down with left handed and singing these songs that he wrote and people started lining up to check out and he would just say just a minute just a minute and he kept on playing and it just it it was a hilarious uh thing and it was such a gift to hear somebody do that but it was really odd to see somebody play left-handed but without any sort of change to the right-handed guitar he simply turned it upside down well in this video we're going to talk about different options you have if you are left-handed whether to play, well, you could play like that, but it was, I think, really difficult, and he just made up his own chords. But we're going to talk about different ways to play and different options you have as a left-handed player getting started on guitar. I'm Alan Matthews from Classical Guitar Shed. If you enjoy this, please subscribe to this channel. So first off, as you start guitar, and if you're left-handed and you're just starting on guitar, know that guitar is hard for everybody. Just because there's a right-handed guitar and somebody's right-handed, it doesn't make guitar easy. It's a whole lot of coordination in both hands, and we're all, we all have to learn. It's not like our right hands, as right-handed people, already know how to play the strings really well. And in the same way that if you play left-handed, then your fingers aren't gonna know what to do either. In the exact same way, our left-handed fingers aren't going to know the chords and are gonna to have to get over the hurdle of figuring out how to do this up here, just as your right-hand fingers would. So know that going in, guitar isn't easy for anybody. So then the question is, is there a benefit to your dominant hand making the sound, right? So if there is, then it would be a good idea then to get a left-handed guitar. But is that really true? And I don't really, I don't know the answer to that question. I have left-handed friends who play right-handed guitars and their non-dominant hand plays the strings and their dominant hand frets. So there's benefits to that as well because then it's easier for them on the fretboard and then they have to overcome their non-dominant hand on the strings. So it can go either way. So there are some benefits to playing a left-handed guitar if you are left-handed. And that is one, your dominant hand is playing the right. If this is a benefit, then that is one of them. Um, it does make the sound, so it may be a benefit there. It also may be more comfortable, but that's psychological because whenever we first start, it's all uncomfortable. Like it takes time for something to become comfortable because it's new at first and anything that's new is uncomfortable. So is it more comfortable? Who knows? I'm skeptical. Another pro is that it, it more says I'm left-handed and so I need something special to play. And so that's a pro and it's also a con because then you have to actually find a left-handed instrument. So is that actually a pro? I don't know. You can choose. You might just want to have a left-handed instrument. But like my friend, you also have the option of just playing a right-handed instrument and just playing right-handed even though you write with your left hand. So then you play just like all the right-handed people in the world, which is a regular guitar. And there are a lot of benefits to doing this. First off, it's really easy to find a guitar. And if you see someone with a guitar and you're working in the bookstore in the airport, then you can say, hey, let me play you a tune and you can play them a song. That might not be your situation, but whenever you are somewhere, it's really easy to find a guitar to play. And also most teaching resources are written with a right-hand perspective because the majority of people are right-handed. So then everything that you look at, if you choose to play left-handed, you're going to have to reverse in your mind. Whenever you listen to a video and somebody says, now you're right-hand this, then you have to then translate that to mean my left-hand this. So it's you have to do a whole lot of translation and transposition to make it make sense on your instrument. So if you just play a right-handed instrument, then you just erase all of that, all of that complexity from it. 
So whenever, whenever beginners come to me personally and say, I'm left-handed, what do I do? I typically say, pretend like, you're, pretend like it doesn't matter and just play a right-handed instrument the same way that, that you would if you were right-handed and don't draw a, a line between that, right? So it's just like if whenever you were little, you started writing with your other hand. I don't know the, the things like that, but I'm assuming that if you had always done it that way, then you would learn how to play, you would learn how to write with your non-dominant hand. And I know that people do, people are ambidextrous when they practice being ambidextrous. So it could be that when you practice, when you first start practicing, if you start off on a right-handed instrument, then it just becomes what's normal. And it just, it just is what it is. And so it could be a lot easier for you to get started instead of tracking down a left-handed instrument. But whichever you do, my recommendation is to just pick one and commit to it and just go for it and get to the real work of, of learning guitar. So I don't think it really matters one way or the other, so long as you just pick one and you just go with it. I hope this is helpful. If you're left-handed and you're just scandalized by anything that I've said here, then please forgive me because as a, as a right-handed person, I just don't know how it feels to be left-handed. But from my experience working with left-handed people and talking to left-handed guitarists, then the ones that I've seen who play right-handed guitars are perfectly fine with it and don't encounter any undue stress or uh, inconvenience and it's easier for them to find guitars. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Please subscribe to this channel and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.